despite all the progress at COP28, we are still not on a pathway to 1.5. And COP29 comes at a deeply complex moment. Because we have now seen the first one-year period of temperatures 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. And we are seeing the direct impact of rising temperatures on lives and livelihoods. As vulnerable communities face one crisis after another. When we meet in Baku, these communities must be front and center in our minds. And with this sense of urgency and determination, we must address, address the critical challenges facing our planet. So having found consensus on the roadmap, how do we enable action? Ladies and gentlemen, finance underprints everything. As we said in the global stock take, finance is a critical enabler of climate action. But it's the growing gap between the needs of developing countries and what is available. And many, uh, and many are losing trust in the process and that it can deliver for them. So we must all work tirelessly to mobilize the resources we need. 